questions and talks about the appropriate domains and range. Remember, uh, domain is input and, and range is, is uh, output. Um, and domain is typically your independent and your range is your dependent. So that's what we talked about in the last lesson. Anyways, uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Just click the Integrated Math 1 link. Okay, so recall um, X is the independent variable and Y is the dependent variable and it depends on what X is. Okay, so to write uh, Y uh, equals 3X minus 7 in functional notation, we replace the Y with the F of X. Okay, and this right here says f of x. That's what this reads right there. So instead of having y, we just put in f of x right there. So here it is. f of x equals 3x minus 7. So this is function notation right here. Okay, so when the book asks you to do that, you just uh, replace y with f of x. All right, so uh, for each example, identify the independent and dependent variables. Write an equation and function notation for each situation and then use the equation to solve the problem. Okay, so they're going to set us up with some problems like this. A lawyer's fee is $180 per hour for his services. How much does a lawyer charge for five hours? Okay, so we have to figure out, oops, I just moved it up here. We have to figure out which one's the, the e e dependent and which one's the independent. Okay, so the fee of the lawyer, it totally depends on how many hours were worked. So the dependent part is the fee and the independent part is the hours. So if you go in and see a lawyer, how much you're going to pay depends on how many hours he's uh, he's going to be doing work for you. Okay, so if we let H equal the number of hours worked, we get, here's our functional notation, F of H equals 180 times however many hours there are. Okay, all right, so there's that right there. And then um, now we got to uh, go ahead and solve the equation. So we're going to plug in five hours right here. So we're going to plug in F of 5 equals 180 times uh, 5 right there. Okay, so substituting, substituting in uh, 5 for H. Here's H, so F of 5 equals 180 times 5. 180 times 5 is 900. And then let's always answer the content, uh, the problem in the context of the problem. So, so we're talking money here. So the lawyer charges $900 for 5 hours of work. What a dude, huh? Stinky guys. No offense if your parents are lawyers. I, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, anyways, now uh, the admission fee at a carnival is, is number two is is nine dollars. Okay, each ride costs a dollar seventy five. So that's on top of the nine dollars. You pay nine dollars to walk through the gate, and then you pay a dollar seventy five for each ride. So how much does it cost to go to the carnival, and then go on twelve rides? Okay, so so which one depends on which one? Okay, so so the uh, the total cost is going to depend on. Okay, we already paid the nine dollars admission, so here's my plus nine dollars, and then it's a dollar seventy five for each ride. So it depends on how many rides there are. So the number of rides right there. So the dependent variable is your cost, your total cost for the night, and the independent variable is how many rides, okay? And um, uh, and how I think of this, you guys, the dependent one, the total cost totally depends on how many rides you're going to go on. So the, the total cost is your dependent, and the other one's got to be your, your independent. So we'll let R represent uh, the number of rides, okay? And then the function uh, for the total cost becomes F of H. Okay, actually, it's F of R. Shame on me. Uh, this should be F of R right here. Uh, come on now. Let's see if I can fix that right here. Okay, so it should be F of R, the function. Uh, I'm going to have to... Okay, here we go. So, uh, so it becomes um, uh, $1.75 for each ride plus the $9 right there, the $9 entrance fee right there, okay? So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, we're going to substitute in R equals 12 because they did 12 rides right here. It said 12 rides right here. Okay, so we're going to do F of 12 is going to be $1.75 times 12 plus 9. Okay, so $1.75 times 12 plus 9. And what you can do is do like that. This is, uh, think of this as uh, $1 plus 75 cents. So it would be 12 times 1 plus 12 times 0.75, which is 3 quarters. Okay, so 12 times 1 is 12. 
12 times 3 quarters, 1 quarter of 12 is, is um, uh, 3, so 3 quarters would be 9. So 12 plus 9, this, this should be 21 right here. So 21 plus 9, so, um, so we're going to get um, uh, the F of 12 is going to be equal to $30 right there. All right, let's answer the co uh, question. So the, the, the total cost is $30 uh, that goes to the carnival and you get to go on 12 rides okay so $9 and then um, and then the rest of the money the $21 comes from the 12 rides all right let's try another one you guys Kate earns $7.50 per hour how much money will she earn after working eight hours okay this one's a little easier her earnings depends on the number of hours worked so the dependent is her total earnings and her independent is the number of hours worked okay we're just answering this it says uh, uh, for each example identify the independent and dependent variables so that's one of the answers right there for that first sentence the second uh, answer is write an equation in function notation so so we'll go f of x oops I did it again so we're gonna let uh, f of h shame on me your teacher does this doesn't he or she make mistakes I do all the time in fact I made a couple today in my class all right so f of h equals 750 times h where uh, h is the number of hours right there okay so then we're gonna go ahead and plug in uh, 8 right there so when we plug in 8 750 times 8 again you can go 7 plus 50 you know 50 cents so uh, 7 times 8 is 56 and then 0. 0.5 times 8 is 4 and then um, uh, 56 plus 4 gives us this 60 right there, okay? All right, so uh, Kate will earn $60 for working 8 hours right there. Okay, let's try another one here. So sometimes answers are not reasonable for your domain and your range. So, you know, for example, if you're representing length or distance, you can't have negative numbers. Like, I don't walk negative 5 feet. Um, you walk five feet or when you're talking about people you can't have uh, decimals you can't have a you know 2.4 people you can't have a 0.4 of a person you gotta have whole numbers on those guys okay so write a function and function notation for each situation and find reasonable domains and ranges for each okay so here we go Manuel uh, has already sold twenty dollars worth of tickets to the school play he has four tickets left to sell at uh, two dollars and fifty cents per ticket so write a function for the total amount collected from the ticket sales okay so let's just move that up right there so we'll let t equal the number of tickets that they're selling okay so our function becomes f of t equals 250 t plus 20 okay so this plus 20 is that twenty dollars that he already sold right there so that's going to stay that plus 20 right there everything else depends on the number of tickets that he sells he can sell five more tickets right there so Oh, I'm sorry, four tickets left. So he can sell zero tickets, one ticket, two ticket, three ticket, or four ticket. So our domain, the, the number uh, T, can be uh, those numbers right here. So he only has four tickets left. So our domain is um, uh, zero, one, two. That should be a three. Ooh, wee, I'm full of mistakes on this video. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, one, two, three, four on that, okay? Uh, okay, and then... Um, uh, if you know me by now, you know I make lots of mistakes. Um, okay, so then we'll plug those values in to f of t. So when I plug in 0 right here, 0 plus 20 is 20. When I plug in 1 right here, 250 times 1 is 250, plus 20 is 2250. Plug in 2, 250 times uh, 2 is 5 bucks. So 5 uh, uh, plus 20 is uh, uh, 25. So all I'm doing down here is just adding 250. Look plus 250 plus 250 plus 250 plus 250 so these are our inputs or our domains and these are our outputs these are our ranges right there remember uh, the dependent variable is your outputs right there okay telephone company charges 25 cents per minute for the first five minutes of a call plus 45 cent connection fee per call so this is constant if you call they're gonna charge you 45 cents right off the bat and then after each minute they're going to tag on an additional 25 cents. So write a function for the total cost in dollars. See if I can make it through this one. So we'll let m be the number of minutes used. So our function is f of m equals this 25 times n, 0.25, sorry, 25 cents times m, plus 45 cents. This 45 cents is your connection fee right there, okay? And so the total cost totally uh, depends on how many minutes you're on the telephone right there. So uh, the charges are only when a call is made, so a reasonable domain would be, you know, you're not going to call and speak for zero minutes. 
you're either going to have one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute. So that's our domain right there. So we'll plug one minute in right here, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minute, right there for that M. And that will give us our range number. So if we plug those values into that above uh, f uh, function right there, we should get uh, the range of those five uh, dollar amounts right there. Okay. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, I would probably assign you that homework right there. Hey, and if you can, um, you don't have to, but if you can, would you like this video? Take care, everybody.